Hi, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? What's cracking? It's D about to react to this vid. Uh, apparently, this guy went to Japan and a whole bunch of, of crazy stuff occurred. A few people have sent me this to check out. They're saying that he tried to be a passport bro and it didn't work out for him. He got like some STDs and some other stuff. I don't know what's, what's happening, but sure, he vlogged everything. We're gonna see what occurred, so let, let's watch. I heard Japan was in desperate need for black men. So <laughs> me being the smart individual that I am, is crazy. I went and got myself a ticket. I don't usually do stuff like this, but when the government is asking people to come there, why not? And it's really like the perfect time too, because I was about to go to DR, because you know, if you're in a drought and you got zero holes, the best place to go is the DR or Columbia. That's sad. So instead of going to DR, That's sad. I figured I would just change my flight and see what Japan's talking about. If y'all want to see think I don't think you should leave the country if you got zero hoes and, and be like oh at least I'll get some action if I go across the country and pay for it you could pay for it here <laughs> you can you can take women on, on dinner dates and try to put a little energy into uh, being a decent person here I don't think you need to pay all that money for a flight and, and fly across the world and then pay for vagina over there. I don't, I don't understand the logic, but, but sure, look at your life. Sit back and wait around and that's cool, but me, I'm the type of guy, I'm gonna go get it myself. Okay. Just like Young Thug said. I go get that back. Platform. This should also be a warning for y'all females to do a better job trying to keep your man. Because give him five reasons on why he shouldn't just up and leave and go to Japan. I don't really know what to expect when I get there. <laughs> I just hope I can be loved and swarm with Japan ladies. Love. I hope I can mate with most of them. I might Maybe. stay there. I might end up staying there. I just want to see if this is actually This is the other issue I have. This issue is a stretch. I don't really give a fuck. But this is just a, a common thought, okay? When, whenever I hear these passport bro men, um, you know, talk about finding love in these other countries, it's like, bro... They, they want your money too. <laughs> so when, when they complain about how, oh, American women, they gold diggers, they just want money, da, da, da. You go over there and you, you give money. I, I guess it's cheaper, but is it really when you, when you have to pay for your flight and your hotel and all the food and stuff that you're buying over there? Is it really cheaper? I, I don't really know about that. But it's like, you, you can't be no brokey in no other country and, and get no girls over there. You have to spend money and like, get them that way so how how is that any different and then you saying love that's not that's not love when they're requiring that you pay for something even if it's just a dinner i'm the risk taker i'm the big dog you guys want to sit around and he he ha 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 oh my god no i'm the one that's gonna go get it period I'm keep you guys updated stay tuned all right y'all so we just touched down in japan a few mean stairs like what the fuck are you doing here but it's all good. We're going to get through it. Oh. We're ready. I just woke up. So my sleep schedule is all fucked up right now. But let me tell you guys my experience so far in Japan. After I dropped my bags off in my room and everything, this I hopped on the area. train and I started walking the streets of Tokyo. Tokyo. I'm from Las Vegas and it looks just like Las Vegas, but in Japanese. I found this fire building too. I wish I would have took a Fitbit right here. That's a wild I was really just walking around for like three hours using Google Translate to talk to girls and talk to everybody. So I couldn't use my phone that much to record. Look at this beautiful scenery right here. Also, there was a bunch of other tourists, I so I didn't you. feel weird or left out or anything. But let me tell you guys one thing. The racism is definitely there. I mm -hmm. had little kids walking up to me, talking about, hey, gang, 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 bro. Gang, gang. They was calling me Pop Smoke. They said, Pop Smoke, nigga, nigga. Oh, damn. Bro, I swear to God, if I wasn't by myself, I would have stuffed those kids in the trash can. Okay. See, that's very interesting, but everybody has different experiences. You know, I am capturing my travels on my second channel. Check it out. Link down below, D Chanel TV. And, um, you know, one of the trips I recently uh, posted about is when I went to Hong Kong and I was saying how, you know, I didn't have this experience at all in Asia. And I've been to many, many countries in Asia. And I've never had the experience of anybody taking pictures of me or like um, saying anything weird. And a few people were like, oh, it's because you're of lighter complexion. This man is, is lighter than me. And, um, yeah, he's saying it happened to him. So I, I don't know. But I'm not saying it didn't happen. It's very possible, obviously, that other people are encountering this. But I just think it's interesting because I'm like, 
<laughs> Nobody cared. I don't know. Also, the lady boys are definitely real. I'm not going to fall for it because I'm a transformer expert. But if you're not on your P's and Q's and you have a little bit too much to drink, you will fall for it. It's kind of fun to use Google Translate, honestly. And it's like texting, so it's way easier. So I really have time to think about what I'm going to say next. And girls said that they love my accent. I didn't even know I had an accent, bro. This is crazy. You have an After I got bored of walking around, I went to the club for a little bit. And it was some weird ass music, but it was still lit. I seen some black guys in there and I was actually talking to them. And they were telling me how like black guys are the main people that the girls are looking for. Now I did it's score this job. night after the club, so I'm officially one for one. I've been here one day. I already got a bucket up there. Come on, you see me. I had to get a picture for you guys. I couldn't forget that I'm here for content. I can't be having too much fun. It was great, honestly. Maybe <laughs> I'm fun. Parallel boy. Like, I want to start a family type Oh, because somebody sent me this and they said that he's 18 or 19 or something like that. Apparently, he's he's a teenager. It was more like, oh my God, I see a cute black guy. I want to score. So, yes, I'm still on the hunt. I don't know if that's true, though. That's to true. agree they make families, but I don't know if they'll take me serious. I guess I got to keep searching. I got to ask around more. And I got to talk to the right people. I see a lot of you guys really upset that I'm in Japan right now. Saying that I'm going to boost the crime rate and stuff like that. Bro, I'm not a crash show. I'm a positive That's person. Trifling. I'm cool if you get to know me. And why can't I go travel the world? Even you if can. I wasn't doing this to breed Do families, you? which I am, of course, I still would like to travel the world. Really? That is pretty much all I did, though, for my first day. I was super tired, so I wasn't trying to do too much, you feel me? But I'm going to keep you guys updated. Day number two in Japan. I woke up kind of late, so I knew I had to catch up. So I immediately hopped on Tinder. I told her I came here yesterday, but I'm staying until next Sunday. The tension started building up, and I said I love taking the control. Tension. She said she loves to be fully controlled, so I said, all right, how about whoever finishes first has to pay for our date that we had Ew. set? Ew. All they ever Ew. Ew. in Japan is WhatsApp or Telegram. So I immediately went to that. Around 5 p.m., she came to my room. Be a and good girl. Now, I knew I was going to finish first, but it doesn't matter. It's about the tension and the talking. You could have kept these details, brother. To want to come over. So that's why I made it a competition. I'm not going to lie. I was free balling inside of her. I didn't wear a helmet or anything. But she was okay with it. So if she wants to keep it, that's up to her. That was my main goal anyways. I wanted to come here and start her family. All right. So after I finished that. You want to create a broken home? Because you're going Marvel back to the state? Pulling out my Google Translate. I went inside this very popular club. And I met this dude named Evan in like the first 10 minutes. He was also from America. And he was telling me that he's been staying here for over a month and a half for free, leeching off other women. After he told me that, it's like my third eye really opened. Like, I've really seen a vision and why I was here. He then told to me that he knows to? a better spot. I was kind of in more of a ghetto area. So we hopped on the train and we went to that area. He ended up leaving the club a little bit early because he met somebody and he sent me this. Benny Kure. Salute to him, man. He's a star player, and he's still putting up numbers in overtime. He said, fuck it. Don't sub me out, coach. I need to get my stats up. I was still at the club, and I made the dumbest mistake ever. I put my bus on in the club. Mind you, this wasn't Tokyo. This was downtown. So, like, in Cali terms, this was not in L.A. where all the tourists be. This is Compton in the gutter. I'm not going to lie. They were dancing. You probably can't see them right now. But as soon as I put them on, the whole energy in the entire club shifted. More females started coming up to me. They told me to come to the back. I was using my Google Translator. Hold on real quick. I'm so sorry. I just can't help to tell you guys that I really put that shit on. It don't matter where I'm going to. I'm going to get fly. But yeah, so the girls were like more on me. And the guys, it was like these four Japan street thugs. They were just mean mugging me the whole entire time. Now, they eventually left after like 30 minutes. So I thought they weren't tripping. But after I went home with my girl, bro, they was outside waiting for me. They started speaking Japan shit, and I think she Japan. was telling them to stop. She was about to cry, telling them no. I could not Come understand the word that they were saying, but let's just say I sprinted home. I did not take any risk. I was running in these dark neighborhoods. It was super scary, and I wasn't tripping if I didn't leave nobody because I did already score earlier in the day. But yes, the racism and envy is really starting to show. Stay tuned for day number three. Day number three in Japan. Immediately off the wake up, I started farming on Hinge. I was fucking with Tinder, but I couldn't tell if some profiles were fake or not. I met this girl that was half Japanese, half Latino, and she really spoke three different languages. She's from America, but she stays in Japan by herself, so I said, you gotta teach me Spanish so I can talk dirty to you in two different languages. She said, you're a baby, I'm almost 26, so I said, make me grow up then show me what adults do. 
Oh, that's weird. She stayed in the city that was not. I don't like how he. Hotel. he <laughs> so I said, all right, what name? My Dirty talk is weird. Court advantage. At first, she was hesitant, but I got her phone number and I FaceTimed her, and I just slowly broke her down and convinced her. I snuck in a quick picture right before it tip off. Pay attention to the handcuffs on the bed. I'm definitely not a baby anymore. After what she did to me, I feel like a whole new man. After that, I had her take me back to my room. I'm paying nineteen hundred for two weeks. It's kind of expensive, but it does come with free breakfast, and I think it's three hundred thousand dollars in yen. Here is where I met this black girl named Jada walking the streets of Shibuya. She was gorgeous, so I had to approach her. She was a foreign exchange student. She was actually from Chicago. I had to sneak these pictures because I didn't want her to know anything about my journey. But this just shows me that God has a sense of humor because me coming to Japan was like my diss track towards black women. And then he hands me the most perfect black woman I can ask for while I'm in Japan. We why, do, <laughs> why do some of the passport bros go to these other countries and be like, yeah, this is me saying fuck you to the black women in America or, or women period in America? I promise you, the woman you saying, the woman you saying, fuck you too. They they don't care. <laughs> nobody nobody cares that you over there. You know, getting STDs and, and spending all your money and doing whatever you do about to get beat up by uh, Japanese niggas. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about it. Live your life. I'm I'm here for the entertainment, but I promise you, the girls you left out here, the black girls that you saying fuck you too. They they don't care left to get something to eat and let me just tell you i do put that shit on oh every single time I, it she took me back to have? change and she changed at her dorm right here though we went That's to this okay. small lake in shakoya yes, i really hope this doesn't blow up too much because i don't know how she's gonna react if she sees this video it did it went viral i had to jump in the water i'm sorry i couldn't help myself it was just too tempting That's beautiful. i went back home to go shower right quick and me and Jada went out again to go eat. And let's just say I put that shit on again. Yes. <laughs> it's getting out of hand now. Right. This pretty much sums up day number three. Me and Jada went back home to our spots. We didn't do anything. And I wasn't tripping because my stuff was kind of feeling funny. I don't know if it was an ingrown hair or a razor bump. But I'm going to wait it out in a few days. Also, I hear a lot of you guys saying if I get married to a girl in Japan, I can get paid to live here. <laughs> if me and Jada do not work out, I'm probably just going to do that. Also, if you're stationed in Japan and you're in the military, we should link up and I should borrow your military outfit because I heard Japan girls go crazy for a black man in the military. But yeah, stay tuned for day number four. Day number four in Japan. So off the rip, I immediately woke up to some bullshit. This is the same <laughs> one from day two, the one I met on Tinder and the one I was pregnant inside of. Baby, Go I'm sure I'm pregnant. I got tested and I'm sure I don't want to abandon my baby because of my religion, but I don't want to be bullied for giving birth to a black baby. Like, what? The, I'm not even tripping if you have the kid, but now you bring a race into it? Please call me later. I'm calling her bluff on this. Like, in basketball terms, if it's a foul on the play and I'm the coach, I'm challenging the play. Since I had to go through that, I didn't want to stress myself out too much, so I figured I would get out the house and treat myself. Here's what I had for breakfast slash lunch. <laughs> I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm going to call that girl tomorrow, but today I'm going to have my fun. I hit up my boy Evan from day two and I Evan said, yo, what's the moves? Get me out the house before I crash out. He sent me this video. The legend himself, Evan, had to go home. Unfortunately, it was his last day in Japan. He was leeching off women for two months staying in Japan. That's embarrassing. He motivated me. He gave me the self-confidence that, that I need. You? Everybody, please show love Being to Evan above. in the comments. I had no plans, so I went back to old reliable Mrs. Jada. Right, we pretty Jada. much talked and just drove around for hours. The vibes was perfect. You haven't heard Everything drive was around. perfect. But I told this girl so many lies, and if she sees this video, I'm pretty much fucked. I don't fucked around and told this poor lady that my father passed away and I got his inheritance, so I was taking a little vacation. That's how I ended up here. That actually That's didn't work. Up. I don't talk myself and to get some sympathy coochie. But my stuff was feeling funny, bro. I don't know what it is. I think, like, you know, if you go so hard the night before, it gets a little bit swollen. I think that's what it is. I really don't think I have no, anything. You gotta so I didn't want to touch her just in case if I had anything because I actually care about this girl. So I said After the best cop I'll answer ever. I told her, I don't want to make love with you yet because I don't want you to think that I'm just here for that. If you're a man and you turn down buns, every single day after that, it's going to be there automatically. This was the best thing I could have ever said. And plus, my mind wasn't in the right place since that little baby incident happened. But stay tuned for day number five. 
Day number five in Japan. Y'all remember this from day four? You guys helped me realize that she tried to pin a baby on me. It takes at least six days for the baby to fertilize and, and for the know. test to pop up positive. And it's only been two days. So you know I had to troll. I think she texted me back what? four hours later and said, if you didn't cooperate, you would think you should have stayed in America. Like, is that really a threat? Because I'm not putting up with your fake baby. Now here's the bad news. The black girl I met, Mrs. Jada, she found my shit. One of y'all little sneaky fanboys sent her my videos. There's a lot more stuff you can do for money, bae. I know, I know, just chill on me, bae. LMAO, so are we not compatible? I don't know, it just threw me off, to be honest, but I like looking at you. You can look at me all day, that's not the problem. You just have to gotta look past my other character. No, I can't be sitting out here with my man's posting that shit. Bro! I can't get her back now. You guys fucked off everything. Why'd you so, show yeah, her anyways, face? After that, I went to this little car pop-up show, and some Asian girl approached me. I wasn't even in the right mind space, but I still took her under my wing. You guys don't realize how sneaky I have to be when I make these videos. I'm not finna approach them like, oh, yeah, I'm on my journey trying to make babies and start this families is sneaky. in Japan. I checked up on the homie Evan right quick, and he sent me this video. It turns out he didn't even go back to America. He went to another really? different part of some Asian shit. So yeah, he's living life. I'll tag That's him in the comments. Asian. You guys need to tell him to start making content. Here's me in Tokyo with a girl that I met at the car park. kind of Filipino. I don't I'm know. not showing faces no more because y'all are weirdos. But after we hung out, I took her back to my hotel and I sure killed her shit. I was low-key doing a little bit too much, but I had so much anger built up like you have Remember to understand ST? me. She's lucky I wore a helmet because my stuff was kind of feeling funny still. But if it wasn't feeling funny, I know she would make a great mother. That pretty much wraps up the night. Stay tuned for day number six. Day number six in Japan. I went downstairs for some good eats. When you gonna go to I'll the doctor? <laughs> the but fuck? I get this every morning for That's free, I'm not really tripping. I paid to ride these bikes that they had going on for tourists. It was super fun, but it was super long and hot. I was drained right after this. I took a nap and I woke up super late, so I hopped on Bumble. A lot of people are saying that this is the best app for Japan. I got this one girl's number, so I said, hey. She said, hello, baby. Do you have any black in you? Aha, uh -huh, no, baby. I'm completely Japanese. Do you want black in you tonight? I'm glad to hear that. This translation be inaccurate sometimes, but I think she said yes, because she put the heart emoji and the eyes emoji. This is proof that Japan is easy. I would not get away with this in America. She told me to bring some rubbers, and I did not have any, so I went downstairs, and this is all they had. So yeah, Super I cracked her at her place. And at first I had on the rubber, but I took it off. And I think it you was just so good that people? she didn't even realize. I made a big mess. Not all of my load made it into the basket. And it was on the side of her leg. And she smeared it off. And I think she started cussing me out in Japanese. I don't know what she was saying. I was just sitting there like a sad puppy. I did not know what to say. I was scared. And then she called somebody. Because you took the condom off. I tried to record it a little bit, but I didn't want her to catch me, so I just left it how it was. But yes, I did try to make her a mom. But you I got herpes on your lip too? I should have stayed inside a little bit longer. Stay tuned for day number seven. Day seven in Japan. A few days ago, I actually did end up taking this at-home kit to see if I got burnt, but it was too confusing, so I just went to the doctor to get tested. And just like I expected, y'all, I so got media and I gonorrhea? Really some other stuff too, because look at my lip. Expected, y'all. Who the fuck is this nigga here with the afro? Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, this ain't making sense. He, he, this is cap. Cause who, who is this nigga? I got, got. I really <laughs> might have some other stuff too because look at my lips. Exactly. I saw mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I refuse to let this stop me though. I understand that I'm the star player. And I'm injured, but I'm, I'm still going to carry it from the first <laughs> It's crazy because this is the same day I got burnt, day number two. I was smiling. so happy that I took a post-game picture. Same girl that tried to pin a baby on me is the same one that burnt me. And she's still blowing up my phone even after I exposed her dumbass. Hey, I need to understand this. I can have a baby, but I want to get married. First, it was, I don't want to have a black baby. And now I want to get married first. I don't want you to go home. Please call me, baby. Bro, leave me alone. I'm not going to be with you. First, you burn me. And then you lie about having a baby. 
Anyways, back to the streets I'm going. <laughs> I stopped at this little store to get some helmets because I'm not free balling no more. But you know I had to stop get a little thirst trap for the ground. Are you gonna get medicine this time for I waited for a lady to come up to me. Five minute Google Translate conversation. Boom, back to my room just like that. You guys can't even be mad at me at this point. There was a little obstacle during my marathon, and I tripped and fell, I ain't gonna lie. But I have to get back up and finish the race. I still got numbers to put up. I'm not gonna be here forever, so I'm still gonna have my fun. And like I said, I'm a star player that's injured, and my team still needs me. I'm LeBron James at 40 years old. My team nah, still needs hilarious. me. I cannot stop now. Stay tuned for day number eight. Day eight in Japan. I woke up a little depressed because the news I found out yesterday, and it just not me. Didn't explain who that nigga is. I slept on it a little bit. I didn't even want to get out the house today, but I'm still gonna go hard for y'all. So start off with some good eats that I had for lunch. I said fuck it, so I hopped in a taxi and went to the streets of Shibuya, where all the Taxis trouble are happens. Expensive. Right when I got there, there was some weird parade going on. No, I had to stop and get my thirst trap. That's just mandatory. But I was really a dead That's man a walking trap? the whole entire time. A lot of y'all were saying to pack it up and go home. A lot of y'all were saying I'm the biggest L ever. Like, I was really sad, bro. I didn't talk to nobody. The girls that were approaching me, I was turning them down. I kept walking. I was not in my right element. 30 minutes before I was about to leave, this girl approached me, and she asked if I wanted to go to her pool party slash photo shoot. At first, I wasn't convinced, and I thought it was some type of scam. But she showed me her Instagram, and she had 100,000 followers. I'm not showing it to y'all because y'all fucked up the last girl that I met. At first, I told her no because I don't have any pool clothes. But she took me back to my room, which wasn't far. It was like 15 minutes away. And I went to change right quick. And she really had a live photo shoot. She was not playing around. Like, this was a real thing. There was all types of people there. I was networking. And a couple of people actually said that they seen my series and they said they love it. So thank you to y'all. They love so, it? So yeah, I was a little lit. I had the munchies and there was hella food there. It went on until 2 a.m. And eventually everybody started fading away. Everybody left. And it was just me alone at her house. So she asked me if I wanted to have a good time. And me being my weak-minded self, of course I said yes. She and then the conversation started to get a little weird, a little deeper. And she asked if I had any kinks. I said not that I know of. She said she had a special surprise for me, so she took me to this place, and she said, pick whichever one I want. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was looking for like 10 minutes, and I seen a little schoolgirl outfit with a skirt. So I grabbed that motherfucker. I said, here, this is the one. But then the weirdest thing happened right when it was about to get good, bro. I kid you not. I could not get up. I don't know what was wrong with the me. The disease. This never happened to me ever. I never had this problem. The disease I is plural. I testosterone. I don't know if it was the role play. I don't know if it's because I got burnt. I don't know. Hello, so are you ever going to get a cure? I ended up just going home and I sent her this message. She said, don't feel stressed about it. I hope to see you soon. I don't know, man. I understand every star player has a bad game, but this was not good for me at all. This really messed with my confidence and my mental. But let me know where I should Ew. go next after I'm done with Japan. And let me know home, if I should go get YouTube or Twitch or anything like that. Get your Everything fucking so cure fun. for your Stay diseases. Tuned. Day nine in Japan. Some medicine. Woke up pretty late, so I immediately texted the model that I met last night. I said, good afternoon, LOL. How's you sleep? I slept well. Do you want to meet today? I said, yes. And she said, okay, I think I'm really crazy about you. I think we're meant to be, but I have to tell you something first. And I sent oh her a picture goodness. of me getting burnt. And she I said, I'm confused. So I told her what I have. Look, man. <laughs> I know it was probably a bad move, but I couldn't hide it forever. I lost a great star player on my roster. She left me on red, and it looks like I'm not getting her back. I'm just taking it so she... far, and I'm starting to get homesick. It doesn't matter how sad I am. I'm still going to put that shit on and get the thirst trap for her. Nigga, you got that shit on your dick. Go to a doctor. I'm sure you can find a clinic or something, and they can give you some medicine. Okay? That's what you need to be worrying about doing. Why are you walking the streets with a burnt? Just mandatory. The main reason why people don't like me in Japan is because of my fits. I don't think it's because I'm black. It's because I put on dog shit every day. A lot of people think Japan is straight W's, but I'm fully transparent. And I'm here to tell you it's not like that. Here's proof that I do take L's. Hey, how are you doing? What's your name? Oh, 
I checked on Evan from day two for y'all, and he's doing his thing right now. He's in the Philippines. I convinced him to start making content. Look at, look at me. What the fuck did I say? Oh, I said I said that was the Philippines. I've been to the Philippines, all right. <laughs> and it was it, she was looking Filipino, and even the the background it was it was giving Philippines for sure. Look at me. That's why I'm gonna tag him down below. Yeah, I ain't really do much today. I just took a rest day, but I will be back. So stay tuned. I cut gonorrhea and um, chlamydia when Ooh. I was in Tokyo. Now you good? Come on. All right, so what's your name? I'm Natalie. Natalie. Taylor. I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. How old are you? I'm 18. 18? Hey, well, I'm 19. Are you okay. single? I am single. You single? Yeah. How do you like it in Tokyo, though? Tokyo's lit as fuck. We just it's lit. Some... It's tight, huh? It is tight. Yeah, it was some fire. Hell bad bitches? Hell bad. Man, there's hella bitches. I cut gonorrhea and um, chlamydia when Ooh. I was in Tokyo. You got chlamydia and gonorrhea. I'm not a fan of that. Never had it. Never. Would you still fuck with me though? Mm, nah. No, dirty. Nah, you burnt out. You. Burnt. No, I'm not burnt. You burnt. It's ways to heal it. It, it can go away. I understand that, but you I can fix it. No. I ain't a bot, bro. Stop playing with me, man. I ain't no bot. Walking around with active gonorrhea and chlamydia is nasty work. Literal nasty work. Ew, bro. Home heart, you vultures. got discharge running down your leg. That's where vultures merch. What? Yeah, come on now. Yeah, oh, this is it. gross. What? You said you said Capri? Nigga, I don't want to see no public okay. interview. Are you telling people that you got That'd STDs? Be. Yeah. It's weird, bro. For this, so I'm spending upwards of four thousand dollars. Oh wait, I want to hear the tea. My bad, y'all. No, oh, it's not. Yes, they are very racist. They will stare at you. I want to hey. get the tea. Hey, you said <laughs> All right, so back to my video since these rude people want to fuck it up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here in Tokyo, so I'm going to do a little quick Q&A for y'all since y'all keep asking me questions. So starting off with the first question, I'm just going to freestyle in my head, is do Japanese girls shave? From my experience, no, they don't. Every time it's been a jungle for me, but I like it. I'm a natural monkey. I like to climb in the jungle. So yeah. if you don't like it, stay home. Next question is, are Japanese people racist? Yes, they are very racist. They will stare at you. And I soon See, this is what I was talking about in my Hong Kong vlog that I put up, okay? It, it's not that racism doesn't, doesn't exist. And I'm not saying that some people don't face discrimination. That was not my point. But I hate when people speak like this and say that, oh, this is how they act. As if you, if you go there as a black person, this is guaranteed to be your experience. That's how a lot of people come across. And look what he's saying. Japanese people are just racist. I didn't. I was in Japan. Japanese. <laughs> I was in Japan for two weeks. Two weeks. I went from Tokyo to Kyoto to Hiroshima to Osaka, and not one time did anyone treat me negatively at all. And again, he's lighter than me. Let's be fucking clear. Don't 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 let th this bright lighting fool you. Okay, I am a brown skinned woman. Let's be clear. So. Yeah, he's lighter than me. I know men and women can have different experiences. That's definitely a thing. But I just hate when people speak like this. Because I also have a homie who I travel with all the time. He's also in a lot of my travel vlogs. He's a dark-skinned black man. And he has has not had any bad experiences either. As far as being treated, you know, inferior just because he's a black man. So I just hate when people speak like this. This is not guaranteed to be your experience. Could it happen? Of course. You can face racism anywhere. You can face racism here in America. Or, you know, if you live in the UK, wherever you live. All right? But just, I hate when people talk like this. You look at them, they would turn a red. But it's not like, I'm going to kill you racist. It's like, I'm scared of you racist. So what? it's not too much to worry about. And for the third question is, do I really have Maybe they can send two STDs? STDs? Yes, I caught gonorrhea and chlamydia while I was chlamydia. here. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm lucky burnt out. But yeah, it is what it is. Is the food here overrated? No, the food is not overrated. If you like sushi, you pretty much will like everything in Japan. I think it's very great. I don't know why you guys ask me this, but are Japanese girls tight? Yes, of course they are tight. All mm -hmm. of them are small and petite. So like, if you're a big guy, you will have trouble getting in. How much was this trip and how was I able to afford this? So I'm spending upwards of $4,000 and I'm able to afford this through TikTok. So the more I post and the more you guys watch it, the more I can travel to different countries. Is it actually easy to get bitches in Japan? Yes, it is very easy. If you can say hi in the Google Translate, then your V-card will go bye-bye. All you gotta do is say hi and talk with them for five minutes and act like you're interested in learning their language. I've been in Japan for 10 days. I caught two STDs, chlamydia and gonorrhea. Gonorrhea? 
Shut up. Alright, now you Keith Lee with the STD. Okay. STDs, plural. Starting off with side effects and symptoms. He's a I have lower abdomen pain, which varies on and off. And it feels like I have to pee nonstop when nothing comes out. And when I do pee, it burns like lava. And I oh, also wow. have flu-like symptoms such as headaches, sore throats, and dizziness. What? The pain is pretty bad, but I can still function. So I rate it about six and a half out of 10. Let's break down the physical aesthetics. I have redness, soreness, and inflammation. And I've been waking up with a lot of discharge. It's very uncomfortable. It does not look pleasant at all. 10 out of 10. Let's talk about the only good thing that came from it, which is the exposure. It's been putting a lot of people on notice, making them do better. And it hit everywhere. Even hit black Twitter and my whole entire family has seen me in this terrible state. I've been getting made fun of a lot all across the internet, but you know what they say, <laughs> all exposure is good exposure. Okay. So seven out of 10. All around, I would rate this experience a five out of 10. I hope it doesn't happen to me again but it was a great learning experience. Now, but all jokes aside, I didn't do anything for day 10. I'm not feeling too good. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I did go and get my antibiotics, which is a good thing. Fine. Tell me why I'm just not finding out that Japan is paying people $75,000 yearly just to have a kid and live there. This is my last chance. I'm crashing out. I'm calling out everybody. If you're a girl in Japan and you wanna have a kid with me so we can have a good life, let's do it. Everything is for educational purposes, TikTok. I don't know what's next for me, y'all, but stay tuned. Day 11 in Japan. Nigga, First go of all, home. I went to get some towels. And she said that I had a few noise complaints, so I should keep it down. Why he just staying so in I Tokyo? Just switched hotels. Move, move Plus, around. the new one is cheaper, anyways. I've been in the house for too long, so you already know I had to get outside today. It was a very nice day, so I thought I could walk around with my shirt off. I didn't know shirt that that was haram in Japan. I tried to sneak in a quick picture for y'all, but as soon as I got in the store, I put my shirt on, but some law enforcement approached me. And I couldn't really understand what he was saying, but he just basically gave me a warning, I think. Shortly after that, I met this foreigner on the streets and we went to get something to eat. I'm not showing you guys their face anymore because you guys lost that privilege. After that, we rode the Mario Kart go-karts in Tokyo. Oh, it was so fun. We were chewing in her car for a while and she said that she wouldn't have some fun. So she said, let's go back to my hotel room. But I already had some noise complaints from the last one, so I didn't want to risk it. So I said, how about we go back to your dorm because she went to school here. She said that she had roommates there, so she said, fuck it, let's just do it right here. I did tell her I was burnt, but she said it's okay, just wear a helmet. I said, are you sure? She said, yes, trust me. Check out this post-game interview, this is the most I can get. All right, y'all, so I was about to hop in my bag, but I came hella fast. How do you feel about that? About me not, not being able to keep up? Answers for people. So yeah, as you can see, I suffered from inactivity, but I was just happy to be on the court again. A lot of you guys were comparing me to Derrick Rose, but that is not true. I'm more like Kevin Durant after he caught oh, that injury. God. Now I'm about to straight dominate. Also, why are you guys sending stuff like this to my <laughs> inbox? Like, I appreciate the love, I guess, but I don't need you guys stressing out. I'm not good, but I'm good, bro. Like, it's my fault. Just let me suffer it by myself. I don't need you guys hopping in my business. But yeah, guys, <laughs> I'm just gonna be here for today. Hopping in your business. You know, Yo, gonorrhea business. You know. Okay. Back on the court. I don't know what's next. But oh, you in this stay court. tuned. All right, y'all. So we just got back from Japan. And I was supposed to stay longer, but I had to call off the trip early. Like, as you can see, I can't hard. really see what happened on TikTok. But let's just say things spiraled out of control. And I had to defend oh. myself. I had to do the best I can. I low key think I went too viral in Japan. Like, I was a walking value. People were finding out about me and they would see me because there were not too many black people in Japan. So as soon as they would see me, they would just lock eyes. And it got to a point, like towards the end, it got super bad that people wanted to beat me up and they tried. But for the situation I was in, I still came out pretty decent. Thank God. They people. mad because you out there burning their women and you infecting the, the people. And STDs spread quickly. So yeah, that's why they beat your ass. Go home. Japan have no spot. Nasty. I did fail the mission though because I was supposed to start a family when I was there. But I'm not too worried because I am still young and I'm not sure if Japan is the be best sure. fit for me anyways. If you guys don't know what happened when I was in Japan, I'll put it in basketball terms for you guys. I did catch an injury when I was there. I tore my ACL. So I had to leave my team in the halftime. So basically I'm not making the playoffs. I'm not getting a ring. So I'm gonna go home and take a little bit of rest. I'm gonna take the off season off. And I'm going to come back 10 times stronger. Also, I did lose a little bit of money going there. I spent around $4,000 and I haven't made that back yet. But I see this new trend that you guys do. You guys are helping people pay off their bills on TikTok. 
So if you guys could do this this video right here, that would be perfect. I see a lot of you guys calling me a bunch of insults, and I see some clever ones. So let me just name the clever ones. You guys are calling me Celtic Shaq. You guys are pretty much saying I'm washed up. But also, I heard Cavs D Rose. I didn't even know D Rose played on the Cavs. I think my favorite one I heard though was Jordan on the Wizards. Man, that was pretty bad. I didn't yeah, know no, he was washed bad. up when he was playing on the Wizards. But I'm nothing like that. You guys already know me. I'm gonna make a big comeback. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go somewhere else, and it's gonna mm -hmm. be crazy. This is not the end of me yet. Do not count me out. Let me know in the comments where I should go to next, and I'm gonna make it happen as soon as possible. This was highly entertaining, can't lie. Okay, I was, I was entertained. I was locked in to his STD stories and <laughs> him burning these people. And he had a lot of evidence, so I, I believe him. You know, it's not like he's just sitting in the corner talking to a camera and just telling us what happened. He had lots of pictures and videos to back up, you know, his story. So I feel like this actually occurred. I'm a little skeptical of that screenshot because there was just a nigga at the top with afro so i need answers about that and he didn't address it but he did show screenshots of him telling people that he had an std so i don't know i don't really know what to believe about that exactly but yeah this this was definitely interesting and if he's showing you know these screenshots of, of being with these women and being around them it's not too far-fetched to believe that he caught something you know but again, why was there a nigga with an afro at the top of that <laughs> at the top of that uh, picture? I, I just need that answered. But yeah, I want him to travel somewhere else actually, and um and and do other things so I can watch for entertainment purposes. Uh, but hey, it's your life. Live your life. We only got one life to live. All right, I ain't hating on them at all. Do your thing. But I just hate the the negative comments about, you know, women and black women specifically in the States. I feel like that's just very ignorant and corny. He could have kept that. But everything else, hey, do you. This makes you happy. If you want to go across the world, get burnt. <laughs> That, that's your prerogative, my brother. Do you. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.